Releasing my music under Creative Commons has probably been one of the best things I've ever done. It's meant that thousands of you out there have been using my music in your projects and it makes me so happy. It also means that my music is reaching farther than I ever could have imagined and it's pretty much all because of you. However, there are some amongst you who will inevitably use my music incorrectly or inappropriately and this can cause a lot of issues, uh, both for me and for others who use the music. So this video is all about how to use my music appropriately, whether it be for a video or a podcast or a Twitch stream, things that you should do, the things that you shouldn't do, and essentially how we keep this library uh, free and open for everyone to use for as long as possible. So you might know already, but I release a lot of my music under a Creative Commons license called Creative Commons Attribution Only, or CC BY. So the TLDR for Creative Commons is it's a framework that allows you know, musicians, artists, writers, publishers to, to release works in a way that they give up some of their rights to the work. And this is in trade for uh, the ability for the work to be accessed more easily or e more easily distributed by others. I won't go into a, a great detail here, but I'll link a great video down below which will give a bit more information about it if you want to know more. The Creative Commons Attribution License, or the, the CC BY license, which I use, it's actually one of the most open Creative Commons licenses that uh, Creative Commons have devised, uh, and it essentially allows anyone to use my music freely as long as they uh, provide a credit. And this even applies to commercial projects. So this means as long as you give me a credit in your project, in your video, in your podcast, etc., uh, you can use the music for free. Here are some examples. Say you've made a video about your recent trip to Iceland, and you've used my track Horizons in your video. You can either state in the description of the video on YouTube that the music is Horizons by Scott Buckley, and if you can provide a link to the website, that'd be really great. Uh, you can also state the credit in the video itself. So say as part of the, uh, the credit roll at the end of the video. If you've made a D&D podcast and you've used one of my tracks as the theme music for your podcast, then you can either put the, uh, the credit in the description of the podcast or you can actually have it as a spoken credit as part of the podcast itself. It's up to you. If you've got a Twitch channel, and you use the music as part of your stream. You can have the credit in the channel description below the stream itself. You can have it as part of your overlay, or you can even make it as a chatbot command. And I don't really mind. The main rule I wanna make is that the credit has to be reasonably clear for someone who's viewing the content. If they can't easily figure it out, then it's not a clear attribution. So if you can't easily credit me, uh, or you're working in a medium that really you can't credit me, say you're making a TV commercial. Then in this instance, the, the CC BY license sadly doesn't stand. And so you'll need to buy a license from me that allows you to use the music without having to credit me. There's a link in the description below if you want to know more. Now, there are some instances of uh, you using my music that I just can't allow. And these are cases where uh, the use essentially nulls the CC BY license and restricts others from using the music. A classic example of this is using a music distribution service like DistroKid or TuneCore or one of the myriad of other ones that are out there now. Using these services to distribute my music to music streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music and iTunes and etc etc. This is for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, these services generally give you an option to submit my music to a copyright management system um, such as YouTube Content ID that essentially scans videos and streams for, for copyrighted music content. I have actively avoided putting my music into these copyright management systems because it causes copyright claims on people's videos. It essentially stops people from, from using the music, particularly for, uh, for commercial use. So my music doesn't exist in these systems. When others use these services, they often uh, submit the music into Content ID and these other copyright management systems uh, and essentially cause a, a wave of copyright claims um, against people's videos, against videos that are legally allowed to use my music. These can be really painful to deal with. 
And so this is something that we really, really actively want to avoid happening. Secondly, uh, it's really rare that a lot of these services allow you to put a credit as part of the release um, to a music streaming platform. And finally, it's fraud to release someone else's music under your own name. One of the things I want you to take home from this is Creative Commons Attribution Music isn't public domain. It isn't freely open to everybody um, to, to use as they wish. Um, just because I allow commercial use of the music doesn't mean that you have the right to claim the music as your own. Um, I'll talk about these services probably in another video, but in short, please, please do not submit my music to music distribution services. If if you have a question about your project, just please just get in touch and we can have a chat. Uh, by far the most common fringes of this in, this in this situation have been, say, people who have released an album of motivational speeches that have used my music in their background. And you know, most of these people don't realize that they're doing something wrong. Um, but the fact is it causes many, many problems. And if we can avoid them from happening in the first place, I think that's a really great thing to make happen. It's you know, a real challenge to release music independently these days, and it's uh, even harder as a, a Creative Commons artist working uh, outside of a system that's really built for uh, a conventional copyright management. Uh, if you do receive a claim, I really recommend you dispute the claim inside Content ID or whatever system you're working with, and you can use my website as evidence uh, to your legal use of the music. Also, also, please get in touch. Let me know if you've received the claim uh, and provide me all the details about the claim and so I can see what I can do to, to fix the problem. Often, a lot of these claims, once they're resolved, are lifted pretty quickly. Uh, but if you do have ongoing claims that just aren't resolving, please let me know and I'll see what I can do to fix it. The vast, the vast, vast majority of you use my music correctly, and I thank you so much for doing that. If we all keep doing the right thing, uh, hopefully this little library of mine will remain free for years and years to come. Thanks for watching, thank you, and uh, hey, more music soon. Thanks.